Kem over at the Santa Cruz Syndicate Pits enjoying their hospitality and their umbrellas. It's pouring down. And I'm doing a pro bike check on Jackson Goldston Santa Cruz V10.8. All right, so this is Jackson Goldston's bike that he's riding here for the test event in Lord in France. Is the eighth version of the Santa Cruz V10. Uh, so similar looking sort of frame layout, but slightly different. And according to Santa Cruz, the official word is it looks better and is faster than the previous Santa Cruz V10. There are two versions of this bike available. We've got the full 29er, uh, Greg Minos bike you see in the background, she's been worked on. And then the shorter riders on the team, We've got Laurie Greenland, Nina Hoffman, and Jackson Goldston, all riding this mixed wheel size with the reserve wheel. So carbon rims, 29er up front, 27.5 rear. So up front, we've got the Fox 40 fork in that 29er version. Jackson's running 71 PSI in the fork with four volume spacers, five is a maximum. And Fox DHX2 rear shock with a 475 spring on there. Jackson rides a medium frame and he's got his reach adjust headset cups in the middle, which gives him a reach of 452. Running a 45mm Bergtech stem with a 5mm spacer underneath with the alloy bars as well that are 785mm wide before grips. And that's with 30mm rise on there as well. All that adds up to a bar that is 11, 10 millimeters off the ground. I thought that was quite interesting. I asked the mechanics because that's something I'm quite uh, sensitive of as well. So obviously the pro riders are as well. Uh, really interesting roll. The bars are rolled really far forward. Well, it looks to me really far forward. And then actually the brake levers are really flat as well. Kind of looks like a moto trials bike to me. The V10.8 has got a head angle of 62.7 and Jackson runs tire pressures of 25 PSI rear, 23 up front. He's running the uh, Maxxis Minion DHR rear tire and a mysterious unmarked tire up front that says test pilot on it, but it looks a lot like an Asagai to me. The wheels are reserve rims on Chris King hubs, also a Chris King headset up front. Uh, Shimano drivetrain and brakes on this bike. So you've got the Saint 165 crank with an MRP chain guide. Crank Brothers Mallet DH pedals. And then you've got the Saint rear derailleur with that 10 speed roadblock on the back. Interesting, actually, Jackson's running the Saint four pot calipers, so the downhill group set, but matched with some XTR levers. He's running a Bergtech the Cloud saddle and some ODI Elite Pro lock on grips that have quite a big diameter, I'd say. They feel kind of chunky to me. Interesting, he's got that XTR shifter that's kind of angled really quite steep. I know a lot of Daniel rides like that, so when they're sprinting, they can reach those paddles. So Jackson's frame is the same as the others you can see behind me, but it's got a few more finishing products on there, like this is little fender and the chain stay protection. Quite as a bike down. When I asked uh, about if Jackson's a fussy rider, apparently not. Apparently he likes his bike to be quiet, and other than that, uh, it's not particularly fussy, but you can see actually on the brake calipers, there's a little bit of sort of uh, that velcro -y, foamy stick on stuff that I guess is there to stop those pads sort of rattling around. According to the team, Jackson used to be quite heavy on bike parts despite his uh, smaller size, but apparently he's smooth nowadays. Anyway, let's catch up with the man and ask him about his bike. Right here with Jackson Goldston. Jackson, you've had a bit of an injury recently. How are you feeling? Yeah, um, I feel like I'm pretty much over the injury, thankfully, but, uh, you know, just been a limited bike time recently, so just, uh, you know, trying to puzzle my way down this track is pretty difficult in the wet, and, uh, yeah, there's a few sections that were, you know, really fun, but, um, you know, this morning I feel like we got three laps that were, uh, you know, so sick in the dry, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to dry up at all tomorrow. I don't think it will, um, but, yeah, here to have some fun. And we've been checking out your bike. Would you say that you're quite a fussy rider? You like to get things set up or you, you set it and run it? Um, yeah, no, I'm, I I do like to make, you know, a few changes just to help, but it's not like I'm going to, you know, be totally, totally super angry with how it's feeling. But, um, you know, the new bike's been great. Uh, I think we're, we're going to do some Fox texting next week as well to, you know, dial it in, dial it in even more. But yeah, so far, so good. I think, you know, a lot of downhill bikes, sometimes they feel brilliant when you get on them, the new ones, but do you ever kind of put that feeling against the clock when you're trying to set the bike up? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, probably, uh, we, you know, we definitely didn't do, you know, timing against the clock right away. Um, as soon as we got the bike, it it was like, you know, get used to the bike, feel the new changes and stuff like that, and then uh, and then worry about the time later. But um, yeah, we did we did a bit of time time testing stuff in, in, uh, in New Zealand and you know, back in that was in the summer over there, so a yeah. little bit, little bit different conditions over here. But uh, yeah, just I don't know, not really too fussed about the, the timing stuff here today because you know it's just been so, so miserable weather. So yeah, uh, and things are ramping up for the season for Lenzerheide. How are you feeling about your first season in Elite? 
yeah, I mean, I'm really stoked for to, to be an elite this year. I've got a number 21 plate, which is, you know, a bit lower than I was expecting, which I'm pretty stoked on. But um, yeah, really looking forward to Lenza High. Uh, you know, next week I'll be back home and, and I got a big training block then to try and, you know, get my get my strength back, get my bike and uh, body feeling right. And then, uh, yeah, she'll be ready for Lenza High. But yeah, it's coming up quick. Yeah. All right. Cheers, Justin. Can't wait to see you on start line. If you want to see some more racing videos, don't forget to head over to GMBN Racing for all the action. Plus, if you are a fan of the Downhill World Cup, head over to GCN Plus for a subscription and you can watch all the live Elite Finals so you're not going to miss out on any of the action.